Hey, so glad to have you with us. This is a U.S. Open champion. This is uh, actually Hyoju Kim, beg your pardon. Hyoju, a major champion in her own right. Open champ. I think uh, Nellie might be a little bit tentative after watching Hannah Green race hers well by. I'm really surprised with Hannah's putt there, okay? But Nellie dialing it in. Her par putt is outside of Brooke Henderson's birdie putt. Rather an That's unforced like, error. Yeah, it's almost like throwing a shot away right there, Kay. That was unnecessary over for the day. Here is last year's Louis Suggs Rolex Rookie of the Year. Hit on you at the ninth. Saw that a lot last year, Morgan. Just a tremendous ball striker. You just have to stay so patient and remain positive even when you miss some shortish putts out here. Twenty-five yards longer than Andrea Lee here. And this looks like a good line, just a little right of the flag. He tried to hold that off through the shot there, Tom, and best distance control of the bunch. Just as we talked about yesterday, from this distance, all about dialing in the speed. As the day progresses, don't want to leave yourself too many knee knockers. Well done there. Had an interesting afternoon yesterday where we saw a few hole outs yeah but not a lot of holds huts yeah especially from inside of 10 feet such a dramatic par three here and another green in regulation anything you can hit it to the center of this 13th green all week doesn't look like too much wind right now, Kay, does it? It kind of keeps lying down a little bit. It's there, but you don't feel it on this hole because there's some eucalyptus trees on the right-hand side of this fairway that block the breeze. Further down the fairway and also more to the left-hand side, so really coming over the bunkers entirely. 50-degree wedge. Should be able to spin it. Watching Nelly Corda with a chance for birdie. She's uh, trying to claw her way up the leaderboard. Yeah, she made a good putt on the last hole. Both two in a row, downhill putts. Got to be tentative when you're above the hole, but they both find the bottom. Nicely done. How about the story of 24-year-old Malia Nam? This for birdie at 13. She's had a lot of putts for birdie, Morgan. Uh, she has hit every single green so far in this championship, nearly rolls that one in. What a great story as a rookie in her second start. I think about you, when you finally got to the LPGA Tour as a teenager, you had already contended major championships, played a lot of LPGA events. In the way of her ball to the hole and hit a great punch shot onto the green. That to clean up a nice two putt par. Have to keep the acceleration up. Make sure you don't go right underneath the ball. Oh, that's wonderful. They actually got to stop short of the hole. I mean, it stopped really quickly. Yeah, fabulous shot. High risk, but high reward. Right now, the bogey comebacker for Sagstrom. A moment ago. Hit this a little more firmly. It's not a ton of break, Kay. Just at the very end, should fall left. Yep, just about like that. Brooke really struggled two years ago at both events in Southern California, here at Palos Verdes and over at Wilshire. Trying to climb it a little bit more. This for three birdies in a row. Easy to leave that short K when you're staring 
down what looks like a cliff. Yeah, there's certain putts out here. It's okay to be a little tentative with. Uh, not much in this putt. Putting below the hole can be aggressive. Okay. She's a quick study. She had hip surgery a couple of years ago and missed a season. Twice a winner on the LPGA Tour and multiple wins around the world in the last couple of years. This is Shi Yu Lin, the best player in the world without an LPGA title at the 10th. And Shi Yu Lin for her par. Just be aggressive with this up the hill the whole way. Tenth hole claims another victim. Playing a little bit easier today, but still one of the tougher par fours out here on this golf course. Is this back up the hill? It's a little bit back up the hill. Definitely should start turning right about now. Yeah, right at the end there. Good speed. Talk about your coaching at USC. This is the fourth at the par 415th for Nam. And now it's just about minimizing the errors. That's going to fall all the way back down to the bottom tier. And this is where we said, how would she feel? So Malia Nam can clean up here for double. Shake it off and head to the par 516th. One shot back. They've been able to enjoy that view for a long time, haven't they, Tom? Yes, they have. There's been a bit of a wait here. Yeah. Only 37% of the field has hit the screen in regulation today. One of the reasons why there is such a big backup here. We talk about Shi Yu Lin Morgan. Just a moment ago at 16, Sophia Schubert, who Monday qualified to get into this event, is trying to take advantage. Think about what Andrea Lee did a couple of years ago. Andrea was conditionally exempt on tour. She did end up in that bunker. It has a great lie, a perfectly flat lie. And all in all, not a bad place to have ended up. Now Sagstrom just to clean up her par. Missed a similar length on the par three, but no problem there. The par three 11th, so. She needs to chip this one close, slow down this wave in the wrong direction. Just try and make as many birdies as possible coming in. Take a look at our top tracer technology. Presented by Progressive Insurance, Hyoju Kim. That's a really good line, just to the center of the green. That's ah, one of the best that we've seen today, especially in terms of distance control. There's only a very narrow little area. Lindy Duncan won it more than a decade ago when she was playing at Duke. This is for birdie at 15. Okay. That's a big pot to settle the nerves. First time ever seeing her name on top of the LPGA leaderboard. Double on 15. That saves the par here on 16. Very nice. And you got a couple of par fives coming in. This is the first of those two. Just oh. tight down the right hill. I mean, we had a really good look at how dramatic up there, didn't that second <laughs> shot is there into this green plays more than 20 yards uphill sure from that landing area. See that? Yeah. We'll settle on the back of the green there, be a quick putt down the hill. She knew it by her reaction that it was going to be a little bit long. Nellie looking down on that 13th green, Hyoju Kim. A couple of players in the top 10 in the world. I'm not sure there's anyone more underrated than Hyoju. She's quiet. She's kind of goes about her business and just about every week works her way up the leaderboard, struggling a bit this week. Here is Nam. 
Yeah, this whole location more accessible today on the very front left of this green. Green sits at an angle very shallow, only 24 paces deep. And really well done right there. 63 yards for Danielle Kang with her third here. It's all about that first bounce. Okay. A par save for Shi Yu. Yeah, that pitch shot just uh, with that downwind. You just don't want to come up short, but I think you're going to be a little aggressive there. Oh, nice. That's what she needed to kickstart things here for the closing stretch. Maybe she'll let me stay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Madeline Sackstrom for a two putt birdie at 14. She is in the last group out off the 10th, so this is her ninth of the day. Gosh, she's still got another nine holes to play. It's, it's you'd argue, the worst pairing out here, especially. This one a little left. Yeah, that's a good shot. You just have no idea where the ball is from yeah. down in the fairway. Shows her level of status. It's yeah. Sacked him out of the bunker. What did she hit driver off the tee? That's, that's okay there. What did you make of that club selection off the tee? Yeah, it's, it's aggressive. Ashley Buhai at the par 5 14th has this for birdie. Okay. We say this about some players, if they ever win for the first time, the floodgates might open. Absolutely, she's gonna realize it's a little slower up that hill. They moved at the end, didn't they? Yeah, it did. So just a four for Madeline. I think you take that out of that fairway bunker. Here's NG after that fine approach. This is for Birdie to get to four under. She's not going to be coming into the shot with the same intensity and the same initial focus. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> no ruling necessary for that one. An eagle three this for Nelly. This is how you do it. Oh, my goodness. Always among the best, as well as Madeline Sagstrom. This for birdie at 16. And she is within one. 142 yards here at the 17th for Madeline. She's going with nine iron. It's very calm on the tee, but you know there's wind up there. And that one just hanging right of the flag, but enough club to be safe. Good, safe shot. Andrea Lee on the tee. Just seen Danielle Kang come up a hair short here. This one might need to go a little bit too. Oh, good it's bounce. A really nice bounce. Well, there's nothing, Kay, quite like the Brook Brigade, is there? <laughs> no, there's not. They are passionate about their golf in Canada, and... Oh, well, it's about time one went in, and they are passionate about their following brook. All right, this is the par 5 16th, and South Africa's Ashley Buhai. a hole you really want to take advantage of. Judge the release fairly well. We've seen a lot of players misjudge with those short wedges. This from 27 feet down the hill. Did she get it right? Oh, she yeah. Got spot on. I have to say, there wasn't all that much break in that there, putt. Well, that was pretty darn there. straight. I don't, I don't know. She was trying to fool me, I think. You've got this green, which is a little bit of shelter from the trees, but then... Once you get on top of the uh, the hills, that's unlucky there from Andrea. 
The putter was working well at the end of the front nine, but hasn't worked in these last two greens. I think when you get up on the exposed part, if, you, if it's gusting over 40 miles an hour, I mean, that's, that's very, very difficult to, to uh, imagine the ball wouldn't move a little bit. Ashley Buhai for birdie at 16. Allison Lee shot 66 yesterday, which is five under. This is to get back where she started. This is the part of her game that's drastically improved. Started working with a putting coach middle of last year. Third shot, par 516 for Nelly. 15 paces to the hole. The second for Andrea Lee. Yeah, 149, seven iron. We talked about it here. You can't see the bottom of the flag. And this one is on a really, really good line. Wow, this has been a tough hole today, Tom. There's only been eight birdies so far today. In fact, she shot 74 yesterday. Nelly purposefully took all seven of those weeks off since that win kind of as her off season she played a lot in over the quote unquote silly season yeah. in December and took that time to regroup and now Nelly five under on a round today four under for the tournament here's Brooke that brilliant third a tap in for birdie and Brooke is back where she started the day three under just like you said, Kay, can't miss there. Sackstrom to take the lead. Yeah, just over 17 feet back down the hill. She can't get too aggressive with this one. Yeah, well done. Yeah. It's a round of 70, one under par for Andrea. Almost hitting a little bit of a bunker shot type here. It's hard to judge. That got really stuck in that kikuya Bry combo. Speaking of Eagles, Allison Lee has this, and if it drops, she'll be tied for the lead. This was just a moment ago. Is this what we heard all the commotion? A moment ago it was! One of the best rounds on the course. In fact, the best round on the course belongs to Leona McGuire. Speaking of Ireland, as Tom was earlier. Forced to take a couple extra weeks off. Doesn't seem to have phased her. Ashley Buhai to finish up with another birdie. And Buhai moves to four under. Leona McGuire to tie the low round of the week. This for a 64. Colors today in great position. Allison Lee would love to be on that Solheim Cup team again as she was with you in 2015. Here's her second, 17. Yeah, that was, I know, that was a tough one leaving her off the team this past year. Similar putt to the one we saw Madeline Sackstrom make. Not a lot of break. Oh, nice. And the same result? Same result as Madeline. And so Shi Yu Lin moves to within two of the lead. Here's Allison Lee to stay tied for the lead at 17. Well, she's made what has felt like 100 feet of putts in the last couple of holes. Yeah. So we'll let that one slide. First LPGA Tour title, each is one elsewhere. Nelly second at 18. This is a nine iron, just a baby one. 123 to the hole. Oh, wow. You nearly got both shots dropped at 17 back at once. 
That nine iron, wasn't that the same club that she used coming in on 18 at Bradenton on, in regulation? Yeah, it nearly hold it. 